So this is my weight loss vlog week eight. It has been officially two months that I've been on this weight loss journey. I cannot believe it. Um, I just wanted to, you know, give myself a pat on the back today and 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 just I'm so proud of myself for sticking it out for eight weeks. It's definitely been um, hard, you know. Um, some of it's been exciting. Some weeks has been just like, oh, so awesome. And some of them have been harder than others. I'd probably say the first week or two was really hard and week seven and eight were the hardest for me. So I um, just want to quickly jump into this past week. Um, in our last vlog, in my last vlog, I had discussed me kind of craving um, carbs really bad and eating bread really bad. Um, and it kind of went the same again this week, although I didn't mess up today, which is Sunday. And again, I apologize for uploading on Sunday versus Saturday. It's just really, really crazy on the weekends with the kids. And again, more things happened again yesterday. And for the past two, three days, I just haven't been feeling good. I have some some stomach thing going on right now. And um, Jeremiah had something last week, so I might, you know, I might have gotten it. So, but anyways, yeah, so um, I, I was really strict on my diet this week. Um, I did a lot of workouts this week, probably, I think, six days. Um, actually, five days. I worked out five days this week. So, yeah, it came to the past couple days with me not feeling so good. And then I think because I wasn't so feeling so good, you know, that, you know, you don't really care so much about making sure you put the right things in your body. You just want to effectively take care of whatever hunger you have. I was craving and craving and craving bread. And sorry if you can hear all the kids screaming in the background. I've got three little boys playing right now. So, and it's nap time. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, you know, I think that what I really wanted to say was is that I'm, I, I'm really proud of, you know, my results. I am, I, um was 129.4 so I've lost a total of 21 pounds and you know I started at 150.8 um, and I was 129.4 this morning so I'm so proud of myself for doing that and for losing you know three pounds this past week um, but the past two days I think my body is what my body is trying to say is, is listen Jasmine you need to just slow down for a second you know what you're doing is great you know, it's responding to me eating healthy things, eating tons of vegetables, tons of chicken, and not so much fried stuff, and not so much sugar. I mean, I really am not in taking sugar unless it's from the apples that I'm eating or from the carrots or whatnot. Um, my new favorite soup is making like turkey and carrots and tomatoes and a little bit of cilantro, and it's excellent um, without having the potatoes in it and without having beans. Today, you know, when we went out to lunch, I got something from Baja Fresh. I got a bowl again without any rice and tons of you know bell peppers and onions and it was very satisfying and grilled chicken but I do think that um, my body's trying to tell me that it's okay you know to to have a car you know some carbs or basically like bread every now and then so um, again today I had um, I put two pieces of toast in the toaster and I slathered peanut butter on them and I got some sugar-free strawberry jam and I ate uh, like one and a half of it if you see my plate there's like still half of it missing because it made me feel good to not have the, the two entire pieces of bread but you know my brother reminded me today that you know peanut butter is like okay for you in moderation it's good for you it's the good fat and it's true but I've been so strict because I wanted to see results so fast that um I've not been letting myself have that and maybe now that I've you know completed 20 pounds of weight loss I will be a little bit easier on myself however I don't know but I feel like my body is trying to tell me that um what has completely happened for sure is that my my eating habits have changed completely. I don't think they're ever going to go back. I'm not even going to look at a bag of chips, you know, that say, which was like our favorite with sour cream and cheddar, you know, and just be like, oh my God, these are so good and have a couple of them because it's going to do absolutely nothing for me and I don't need to eat it. So, I mean, there's that's just one example of things that are going to change for sure. Like I really don't need to have rice. If I can have a meal, I've had so many meals now for two months where I didn't need to have that or I didn't need to have tortilla. I don't need to have pizza. I can do something else. But if there is an occasion, like in the morning for breakfast this morning, I so badly wanted to have like a one-eyed jack, you know, which, you know, which is the bread with the hole and then you put the egg in it and, um, and maybe some turkey sausage, I mean, some turkey bacon, you know, and I think that's okay, especially on the weekend when it's super hard with the kids or 
you know, maybe there's one day a week for you. And, and I know a lot of diets say it's okay to have that one day a week to cheat, but I felt, again, because I was trying to achieve a good amount of weight loss in a short amount of time, or I just really wanted to see results, I was so strict on myself. So anyways, I think as I'm looking on to the next um, part of my journey is to be just a little bit easier on myself and to just take some time off right now. So um, the past two days, because I haven't been feeling well, I haven't worked out. I've still been taking my pills. I've still been watching what I eat. And then again, like I said, a couple hours ago for a snack, I had one and a half pieces of bread with um, peanut butter on it and um, some strawberry jam. Again, my peanut butter is not jiffy or skippy. It's always either the Adam's Natural or it's something from Trader Joe's where it's only peanuts and salt. We do not need anything else. We don't need four lines of ingredients in our peanut butter. So, um, you know, I, I do feel guilty about that and I did so bad last week and like my body's telling me like you need to like have some carbs every now and then. So, I mean, if it gets to the point where you just can't handle anymore, it's okay. And, you know, I think it's okay. So, you know, I just know that I let so much time go by where I just told myself I'm never going to be able to do this, but I did and I have, and I'm going to, and it just feels amazing. And I think that only another person, you know, who, who has a goal, whether it's weight loss or something else, but when you really put your mind to something, you're going to be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve. You know, you can achieve anything. You put your mind to and that is the truth and I am so um, you know I'm just so happy about that and uh, but yeah I did want to let you guys know um, that I think for the next couple of days I'm just gonna chill a little bit um, and I have been chilling a little bit um, my stomach's been doing some crazy tosses and turns and feeling kind of yucky and I've got a headache and just just not feeling too good so um, and I gotta take the boys to the doctor's appointments tomorrow I mean things get crazy in our lives and I've been so strict on um, telling them you know to do this and to do my workout and to do this and to do that but um, yeah I mean I may just you know decide to do workouts Monday through Friday I mean Monday through Wednesday and then maybe do um, Friday or Saturday you know maybe there's gonna be one or two days a week that I just know for sure I'm not gonna do it and that way um, it's just too hard now with the boys sometimes on Thursdays and Friday mornings when they're home because they just can't, you know, they just keep coming there. So anyways, so I am going to sign off for now and thank you so much for all your support um, for the past eight weeks. It really keeps me going and everybody who is starting a journey or who is um, right in the middle of it, you can do anything you put your mind to and you guys are doing awesome and um, I am still watching you and supporting you and um, keep eating really good healthy snacks, planning ahead for your meals. That's the most important thing is making sure you already have stuff set aside for you. If you're taking care of other people, it's okay to give them their food. I mean, I will sit down at the table with my own plate of things and eat my food. Nobody cares what you're eating. You know, they're eating what they want to eat and you're putting in what's good for you. And that's what I was trying to say about my eating habits is that I look at food totally differently now. Like, you know, do I really want that on my you know, my stomach, on my thighs, you know, how are my clothes going to fit after this? This is really good for me. But then there's a point where you're kind of like, I've done enough this week. I'm, I don't care. You know, I need to have this and I, I deserve this. And yeah, don't forget to reward yourselves. You know, whatever goal it is, if it's five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever your goal is, don't forget to reward yourself because we have to, you know, it makes us excited. And, um, you know, I have a pair of jeans that I haven't worn for a while and it was, awesome to to put them on and for them to actually go on and not to be super tight and you know after wearing them all day long and I felt so cool they started getting kind of loose and it was like cool you know I mean another week or two and I'll be probably ready for a lower size um and then I had some like jeggings that with like elastic waist that were um size nine but there was no way those fit me for a long time and those totally went on just fine and you know, shirts are, I mean, it, it does make a difference. I didn't want to trip over clothes. I've been wearing sweats and t-shirts a lot, dropping the kids off. And, you know, I don't try to be so super cutesy, um, you know, during the week or whatever. I just wanted to focus on being healthy, working out, and eating right. But it does make you feel good, you know, when you look a little bit better in clothes. Because I hated the way I looked in clothes. And, um, yeah, so keep it up. Thank you for your support. And I hope everybody has an awesome week. Bye.